Well guys, start to this video. I'm going to pick up my new vehicle and I just cranked the deer. He ran into me though. So you don't see it? Well we were doing 60, so we had to, it took us a minute to stop. He had to do he's so done for. Look at that corner. He cranked he cranked the side of the van and then he nailed the corner. I the trailer ran over him too. Is the van okay? Yeah, the van I don't see anything. First time I've ever hit a deer. Welcome to the club. <laughs> oh. You know, I kinda What a good way to start off the video. I kinda hate you because uh when I hit a deer, I smoke the thing. <laughs> you hit a deer, it doesn't even dent your van. Well guys, with the conditions we're given with the ice and the weather, we're bringing this thing on by ratchet straps. <laughs> Terrible idea, but it works. That's what we got. <laughs> Does it, uh... It, mine's tight. Yours is tight? Okay. okay. Alright guys, we got her loaded down. Van's, <laughs> van's working hard if you can't tell. She's uh, she's ticking, but she always does. Um, I'll talk to you guys more about this in a little bit, but this is my free ranger that we got, or that I got. My grandpa didn't want to deal with it anymore. Fuel pumping out on him, well, that's what we think it is. And he didn't want to deal with it anymore, so he gave it to me for free. So, like I said, I'll talk to you guys about this in a little bit. We just came to check, we stopped here real quick to check the straps and stuff. But you said they're good? Yep. Yeah, solid. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so I know the beginning of this video was kind of, I don't want to say all over the place, but it didn't start out explaining anything. It was kind of just in the process. So I had, I got a little bit of explaining to do. Basically, with what you just saw was just me and Ryan going to pick up my new vehicle. I'm heading, I'm heading, it's the next day, and I'm heading to where I've got it sitting. I'll uh, just kind of show you guys it and talk to you guys about it a little bit. But there's a little bit of a backstory to it, and... It's just, I don't know, it's kind of a cool cool thing for me and I'll explain to you guys why I got it and everything like that. First I want to show you it and then I'll go into the story when we get there. There she is, my quote unquote new 2001 Ford Ranger. A little bit of a backstory to this. First of all, I got this truck for free. I just had to go pick it up. Um, this is in fact my grandpa's 01 Ford Ranger. It's, it's a two, obviously two door, single cab, two wheel drive, three liter automatic. He's had this truck for going on 13 years. I'm pretty sure he said he bought it in 09. So about 13 years. The fuel pump, we, we think it's a fuel pump that just went out on it. And he just doesn't want to mess with it anymore. He's like, I don't want it. Um, he's just, he doesn't want to deal with it anymore. He's like, come pick it up and you can literally have it. And I, I wasn't going to take on another vehicle right now because the next vehicle I do want is a like a, a Camaro, and I've obviously got other stuff going on and I don't have much room. But when a sentimental truck like this, my grandpa's truck, comes up to me for free and it's got potential in it. And not only that, this was the first truck, so not only is it my grandpa's and he gave it to me for free. This is literally the first truck that I learned how to drive in. I think I was 14, I don't remember. Maybe I was even, no actually I lied. I was way younger than that. I had to be 12. He had this truck and we went out to, he used to have a bunch of tractors and we went out to his shop where he kept all the tractors. He would let me drive them around and stuff like that. It's about seven miles away from his house, all country roads. After we were done driving the tractors around, we get in the truck to leave and he ha he throws me the keys. And I was kind of dumbfounded. I'm like, what, really? Like at first it was a couple dirt roads and then it turned into normal just back road, country road kind of stuff. 
And this was literally the first truck I ever drove. I mean, I drove my, I drove my mom's minivan around like a parking lot once. I did like 20 mile an hour. And I drove around the driveway and stuff like that. But actually driving on the road at 12, 13 years old, this was the truck I drove in. And it was, it was the coolest thing. It was summer, we had the windows down. I'm in this small little country truck driving down dirt roads my first time. It was awesome. It was in a, that alone, besides being my grandpa's truck, that alone kind of added to like some cool value to it. So every time I'd go hang out with him and we'd go to the, tr tr uh, we'd go ride some tractors around, he'd always hand me the keys. And there was one time he was like, he was like, get on a little bit. We're on a dirt road. I did my first burnout in it. And I don't know, it was just, it was just cool. And looking back on it, it's like, especially when it's free, I can't, I can't pass it up. In a second here, I'll tell you guys kind of the plans I have with it and kind of what I'd like to see done, but it's a free truck. It's my grandpa's free truck. So let me show you guys around. Well, like I said, obviously it's 01 three liter, two wheel drive. I live in Michigan, so things are not very clean salt wise around here. And even right now it's middle of February and it's pretty salty out. So clearly the body is in rough shape. It's obviously gonna need a new box. It's gonna need new cab corners. It's gonna need new fenders. That's a given. And I don't, I don't know yet, but pretty soon here, hopefully within the next couple of days, Ryan and I are gonna throw it on the lift and give it a look over. Because if it's not solid enough to do anything with, then I'll probably honestly just get rid of it and this video is pointless. But it might be solid enough to not have to get rid of it. And I think, I think it'll be doable, obviously besides replacing like the entire body, but it doesn't run. It did run, but it needs a fuel pump. Fuel pump don't kick on anymore. That's 95% sure. We're 95% sure that's what the issue is. So that's all it is to get running. Otherwise, last, like it's not like it's been sitting for forever. I think last month or maybe two months ago at most is when it quit. So it was, it was running and driving. He drove it, I don't say every day, but he drove it enough that it wasn't just sitting. So first what we're gonna do is check out the frame, see if it's solid enough. And if it is, I'll throw a fuel pump in it. That way it's at least it's at least drivable. But I mean, it is an automatic, but it's a three liter, it's not a, it's not a four cylinder. Interior's actually, besides dirty, which he, I mean, he basically went to the shop and back with this. That's kind of all he did. So besides, being just dirty which it's not even gross it's just needs to be vacuumed out and cleaned the interior is pretty good like radio and buttons and this button's kind of bad but otherwise otherwise besides dirty it's pretty nice in here and <laughs> if you haven't guessed already my plans with this truck are kind of the same as what my truck is now if you don't follow me already I have a Ram 1500 it's a four wheel drive truck and it's a quad cab uh, that I lowered and cammed and kind of turned into a street truck. It's the exact same plans I have with this truck. V8 swap it, which my grandpa is a Ford guy, so I'm gonna keep it Ford powered. I'm not putting an LS in it as, as nice as it would be and easy as it would be. I'm not putting an LS in it because he's a Ford guy, so I'm keeping it Ford true. But I am gonna, I am gonna put a five speed in this thing. We're gonna get rid of, it's a little, it's a little mini truck, street truck, so we're gonna get rid of the automatic. And we'll put a five speed in it just because it's not gonna be a drag truck. It'll be a fun like ripper, but it's not gonna be a, I say this now, but it's not, the plans are not to like make it a 10 second drag truck here. It's just kinda gonna be a five, a five speed V8 little mini two wheel drive truck. Um, but I, I think it'll be cool. So, Here's the other thing though, too, is this project probably is not gonna happen right away. Um, I don't have the space to take on a project like this. I don't have the space to literally pretty much frame up, redo a truck, and let stuff sit for a long time. Jalen honestly likes trucks like this, little two-door country trucks. So she kinda wants to drive it around for a little bit, which is fine by me. So I'll probably throw a fuel pump in it and we'll drive around for a little bit and I can always acquire parts 
here and there, time by time, time after time. Like when I figure out what V8 I want to put in it, which is probably going to be a 302, but I still don't know yet. I can acquire a five liter out of a junkyard. I can acquire a T5. I can try and acquire a Ford 88, stuff like that. I can see if I can find a step side box because I do want to make it a step side. See if I can acquire fenders. Still keep the truck drivable. That's kind of why I'm, that's kind of the same boat I'm in with the show, honestly. I know some of you guys might be here from the show and you're probably wondering why the heck I haven't done anything with that car in literally like two years. And that's because honestly, my heart right now is to make cool, fast stuff. And that's that car's not just gonna be fast. And two, I don't have room. I live in a rental right now. When I'm at my house with my garage and I can, I can leave a car sit next to the garage or I can leave a car in the garage on jack stands for however long literally needed and I can start tearing apart a car to its bare bones, then I can do stuff like the show and the Ranger. That's kind of where I'm at now. That's kind of the gist of the plans I have for the Ranger. Drive it for now. I mean, it's not gonna, you're not gonna see it in a lot of videos probably, but this is, this is a truck, especially with the sentimental value I have to it. Um, it's a truck I'm not just gonna get rid of. I do wanna build and make it into like a mini little street truck a five-speed V8 street truck. So that that is the plan. When it happens, who knows? Obviously, I'm gonna be doing other stuff still to my truck and I wanna buy a car. But this, this a project like this will really take off when I get a house. Or I'm in a, a place for three years at least or something like that. Which is, it could happen soon. We're, we're gonna hopefully be moving in a couple months, whether we buy a house or get another rental, whatever the case is. Depending on how long we plan to stay in one area, I can get stuff done like this. Um, I am excited though. I'm really freaking excited actually. Um, I've been I've been doing some research because I honestly I don't know crap about Fords, especially especially small block like small block Fords. I don't know anything about them, so I'm kind of doing some research and stuff like that to see what I can do. But I'll run this three liter for a little bit, and like I said, I'm going probably see it in the videos very much, but. Eventually, I'll make it into a street truck. So next video, I plan to throw it up in the lift and get a look at it, see if it's buildable or not, see if it can be saved, which I think it can be. Underneath, like, the frame has surface rust on it, but I've got a feeling it can be sandblasted and taken care of. And like, that's the cab. If I gotta get a new cab or something, that can also be figured out. But it's, it's got service rust on it and stuff like that, but it's not like it's rotted out. There's no holes in the frame. It's not, I mean, obviously the body is. The body's pretty shot. We'll throw it up in the lift. We'll make sure she's pretty solid. And then I'll throw a fuel pump in it, get it running. And then hopefully one day, turn this into a little street truck. I'm excited for this build. Hope you guys are too. Like I said, it might take a while, but stay tuned. Obviously a bunch of other projects are gonna happen before then. I've also got a bunch of show parts in the back of it that I gotta tarp over so that it don't get rained on and stuff like that, but yeah. Also, why, while, while I have you guys here, um, I'll give you a little bit of an update. I threw a hitch on here. I put a 12,000 pound hitch on here, and then uh, I got a wiring kit, and Ryan and I wired up trail lights and stuff. And this thing, towed phenomenally I was a little nervous just because it does have 330,000 miles on it but I was a little nervous that it would have some issues or it would I'd break something not that the Ranger's that heavy the Ranger with the trailer combo is probably only like 5,000 pounds but even being a gasser I means 3,500 is a one ton but it did great a little more stress in the engine like you guys heard and it was lift or ticking pretty bad but it's been lift or ticking for 50,000 miles so I mean that's fine and obviously you guys saw me hit the deer well you didn't see me hit the deer but I told you about the deer um, that thing came and it hit like right here and it tumbled down the side you can actually see those are the metsa marks from the deer only thing it did was it dented right there a little bit which it's already rusty, so who really cares? And then it ripped that spot of the bumper off. But I don't know how the frick that thing survived. 
not only did I hit it doing 60, but then it clipped the trailer and the trailer ran it over doing 60 miles an hour. So I don't know how the heck it did that, but I've been doing a little bit of work here and there to the van. Uh, I put some new ball joints in it, put a water pump on it, put the hitch on it and stuff like that. And the things, honestly, I'm really loving that thing. It's a pretty nice vehicle. I haven't done much with this over the winter. Uh, I haven't driven it actually that much either, but we did, I'll show you in the sunlight in another video. We paint corrected it again, and then ceramic coated it, and man, this thing shines. The color on it, you're not gonna be able to tell in here, but the color on it is so deep, and it shines, and it's just, it's freaking awesome. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I can't wait to rip this thing around this year. It's gonna be fun. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions on the Ranger, uh, just comment down below and I will answer them. Um, but otherwise, I'm excited to get it going one day. And that's gonna be it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one when we lift it up on the hoist, check it out, see what it looks like, and maybe throw a fuel pump in it at the same time and get it running. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next vlog.